So a short video here on maybe how to make a desk, the head of a desk lamp there. Maybe some of these patterns here, you can see the holes or some other students have lamps with holes along the top there. All right, so I'm gonna do something like that there. All right, uh, I'll make something okay ahead, kind of like this one here. Now, I'm not going to fully define any sketches which you showed or put in any dimensions at, because you need to just do these things yourself so that in copies of anybody else's work it's going to lose marks so a sketch and an axis all right we need an axis all right uh, i'm just going to get a plane there Oops, sorry So have the angle that you need it at. Now, uh, we can use the spline tool Okay, to draw the kind of shape we want, then a line tool. Okay, go back there, and then it switches into an arc. So they clearly have to be parallel. They clearly have to be tangential. Okay, you can grab your handles, all right, and adjust them to the shape you want. just delete that tangent relation because it'll make it a bit harder for you now you can have kind of your shape there you want okay until you're happy right pick the sizes you want so on so forth surfaces revolve surface this is just one way of doing it click ok thicken so whatever the relevant thickness is now so the head the lampshade is shown or one way of doing it now students there's plenty of students that have holes along the side or maybe holes on the top the top of their lampshade right so reference geometry plane this is to put the holes on the top there okay sketch circle okay you can smart dimension it there until you're happy exit your sketch okay uh, features reference geometry axis put that in there okay your axis is done now do your extruded cut There you go. Now, circular pattern. So your axis there, and features and faces. So this one there. Okay, there you go there, and that's your holes being put in at the top, right? And you can, on your circular pattern, like you can reduce the number of holes for equal spacing or if they overlapped so if the holes were overlapping it's because there's either too many or they're too close to the center so for example if I drag that out you can see the way there now to put them on what you call at the back here so um, choose a plane to sketch on a slot tool you fully define the sketch yourself through the cut 
Okay, true all, just once is all that's needed. Okay, and then E, go to linear pattern, circular pattern. Okay, direction, features and faces is the cut, and your circular pattern is your direction. All right, cool.